It's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 20th, 2020. Daniel 6 verses 20 to 28. Verse 20. And when he came to the dead, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. 22. My God hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lions' mouths, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. 23. Then was the king exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the dead. So Daniel was taken up out of the dead, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. 24. Then the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces or ever they came at the bottom of the dead. 25. Then King Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages, that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. 26. I make a decree, that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and steadfast forever, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. 27. He delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. 28. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius, and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy Daniel, the Prime Minister of the Greatest of Earthly Kingdoms, was at the same time a prophet of God, receiving the light of heavenly inspiration. A man of like passions as ourselves, the pen of inspiration describes him as without fault. His business transactions, when subjected to the closest scrutiny of his enemies, were found to be without one flaw. He was an example of what every businessman may become when his heart is converted and consecrated, and when his motives are right in the sight of God. Prophets and Kings, 546 God did not prevent Daniel's enemies from casting him into the lion's den. He permitted evil angels and wicked men thus far to accomplish their purpose but it was that he might make the deliverance of his servant more marked, and the defeat of the enemies of truth and righteousness more complete. Through the courage of this one man who chose to follow right rather than policy, Satan was to be defeated, and the name of God was to be exalted and honored. From the story of Daniel's deliverance, we may learn that in seasons of trial and gloom, God's children should be just what they were when their prospects were bright with hope and their surroundings all that they could desire. A man whose heart is stayed upon God will be the same in the hour of his greatest trial as he is in prosperity, when the light and favor of God and of man beam upon him. 
faith reaches to the unseen, and grasps eternal realities. Heaven is very near those who suffer for righteousness sake. Christ identifies his interests with the interests of his faithful people. He suffers in the person of his saints, and whoever touches his chosen ones touches him. The power that is near to deliver from physical harm or distress is also near to save from the greater evil, making it possible for the servant of God to maintain his integrity under all circumstances, and to triumph through divine grace. By Ellen G. White Prophets and Kings, pages 543 to 545